committee and I convened with myself, I determined the top 10 trash fans should be determined by a more important person, me. Metallica number one, of course. Go Hori number two. Are they really trash? That's more, more debt. No, I'll just make sure you're paying attention. But let's go through the list together, shall we? Was on my number one. I'm not too sure. You see, I would I would recommend Mattel because the fucking fathers are thrash. To be honest with you, I mean, their 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 work was just fucking. It just blew everything out of the cut of water. It it set the standard for everything that came afterwards. You hear it now in the new thrash revival. When you hear talks about Holocaust, when you hear Warbringer, when you hear Filled by Fire, you hear Metallica. You were part of a Metallica band when we first started the band. Remember that that sound? The heavy sound? There's still kids today that learn Metallica wrists when they're learning to play metal, period. Yeah, but you... Metallica you, you is just as of, important as Black Sabbath when it comes to kids learning how to Black play metal. Black Sabbath, holy fucking shit. I mean, that's not even go there now. Second. That's not thrash, but you gotta admit, every kid learns how to play Iron Man. Just Se like every kid learns how to play fucking Injustice for All. Second band would be, have to be Creator. Creator was just fucking awesome, dude. I mean, That's like, some sick shit, man. It's like death. Dude, Creator was just like. They just redefine everything, those goddamn Swedes. I'm not even sure if I'm correct in saying that they were Swedes. They may have been the regions, but who gives a fuck? Creator just fucking rocks. Sick, sick thrash. On the verge of being fucking. of being dead. Sick. Third band, I know I may be a little. premature in saying this, but you know I'm gonna say it anyways. I'm gonna give it to Warbringer. One of those new thrash revival bands. Warbringer took it from the old school. And made it fucking badass. I love that album. I wish they had more albums. They better fucking have more albums or else they'd be off the goddamn top ten. But fuck, Warbringer was awesome. Do you have any of this Warbringer? I've heard them and apparently you're going to have to pay a little bit more attention. Because I downloaded it from Darth uh, Cirrhosis, Matthew. Uh, and it, it sounded okay, but I haven't paid too much attention to the album yet. Go okay. on. What number were we on? Four, I think. So now we're at number five. Number five, I'm going to give it to Slayer. I personally am not a fan of Slayer. I personally do not. I love the music. I love when they took it. I just don't like the vocals. I, I don't know. That's just me. A lot of people do. But that's just my opinion. So with that, I give it to them as number five, Slayer. Well, the thing on the vocals is it sounded a lot different on the earlier stuff. It sounded a lot more higher pitched. And then when you go to the Haunting Chapel and then you go into God Hates It All, it's a lot different style of vocals. And I've been told this before, before other people, it's kind of a... Uh, it's kind of low. It's kind of like monotone. I personally enjoy it. Well, it, it's not that it's monotone, man. It's just that it sucks. I mean, you could do vocals with Slayer. There's no talent for that. I don't know. Seasons of the Abyss is a badass fucking album. Man. Seasons of the Abyss, dude. I mean, it's the same shit from fucking um, Rain and Blood. I mean, that's a good song, Rain and Blood, though. Hello, Waits. I mean, it's just the vocals. It's a good song, too. There's no tongue for the vocals, and I guess that's the word. I kind of draw the line with thrash, is that the vocal work always fucking sucks. It's just Talk inedible. Talking Testament sucks. You're talking about Alone in the Dark, or, you know, that stuff off of First Strike. Testament is not even the top ten. 
you know, some of their stuff was slower, like on the ritual, I can understand that. But there's just some of the, some of that, that some of that testament shit, man. And unlike Metallica, they, Slayer they got harder. Prove the way for, for, um, testament. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, their, their boys, they screwed the same mom. It was cool. I think testament sounds a lot better than, uh, than Slayer on vocals. Well, testament was not part of the big four. No, but they should have been. I could throw off Anthrax any day. Speaking of Anthrax, that's number six. We Anthrax. saw them at the tent, but uh, Pantera, you remember that? Yeah, I was there. Yeah. <laughs>